truly the commercial pilot with Civilization V. Um, here we are with our second episode. We're back with our empire, the empire, the mighty empire of Rome. And we start by choosing our research. I would like to choose the wheel. And here we go. Next turn. And I, I've never seen this before. It's it says processing turns for uh, barbarians and other player er, and other sieves. So we just had an archer, and what I want to think about doing now is start expanding our empire. So I'm going to produce a settler. And yeah, so I'm going to produce a settler. So we can expand our empire, and anybody who knows about Rome knows that it was a sprawling empire. Uh, all the way from, I think, uh, Spain in the east uh, to um, Syria in the west. No, Syria in the east and Spain in the west. That's, that's what it is. Okay. <laughs> so, Civilization Five. here we are with episode two. Um, so yeah, I don't know why there's no animation, okay, here we go. And let's bring that archer up. Oh, we got an encampment right here. Unfortunately, I cannot reach that. I cannot attack it unless I have uh, barbarians, or not barbarians, but, um, uh, but optics, That's which is a technology. So here we go, um, processing turn for barbarians, okay, we're back to Archer, 2840 BC, Rome, Rome, so now I have discovered the wheel, and here we go, we can move this Archer up here. Choose research. I want to get after calendar because there I have some luxury resources here: dyes and spices. So, yeah, let's bring my archer down here. My archer is just kind of wandering around. And this island I will claim as my own. And I want to bring my archer back up towards here. This is where our new city is going to be once this settler becomes produced. So that guy's done with the farm. And we're going... Actually, uh, warriors are a little bit weaker than archers are. So I'm going to bring my warrior to the new city and have the archer in the capital is what I like to do. So I'm going to move my warrior. There's this big mountain in the way, so I can't go directly to there. And let's bring my archers in the city. And there we go. It's the commercial pilot. And now I know that I... Okay, so here we have our policies again. Let's do warrior code. So now we have a great general. Now there aren't any reachable barbarian encampments yet, so unless I declare war on a civilization, there's no fight to fight. Oh, here we go, we got barbarians. That's a minor victory for us, but we cannot get over there because we can't get past this. Okay, so now we have our settler. We'll move our settlers up in this direction and we will bring our great general towards this guy because when you have the great general within two tiles of a military unit it gives them a bonus in battle problem is 
there's no battle to fight. So that's that's weird. Okay. So now we can choose our production for Rome. I want to get a shrine going. Now we have oh I don't know if you can see that. But we have oh yeah, I screwed up on the recording size of this video. I thought it would be bigger than this. But I screwed up. You can't see that, but it does say zero of zero faith. So I have zero faith and I'm not gaining anything. This shrine here is going to boost our faith. Uh, this is Gods and Kings expansion pack. So, um, so there is faith. Religions and stuff. I'm sorry, for the next video I will make this screen recording size a little bit bigger. Um, excuse me about that, sorry. But yeah, I want to mention a guy on YouTube that I watch and that I actually know personally. My good friend, the Lapis Pyro 1000. Uh, he doesn't have as many videos as I do of at, at this time currently. I This is my fifth video. He only has one so far, but, um, oh, we got a calendar, Stonehenge. And we are falling behind on the points list. Look at this. We're one, two, there are six, uh, we're five, we're fifth out of six. So that's not good. <laughs> uh, we want to do everything we can to get more points. Although, the thing about that is that time is not time is not a victory type that is possible in this in this game that I'm playing right now. Let's sleep the great general because that's where we're gonna put our city. Don't worry about the barbarians. We cannot. They cannot get over here, and we cannot get over there. So they're just gonna sit there, and nobody can do anything about them. Oh, I got it. I want to move this guy up here so I can put him there and we can uh, get another city right there. Let's make another warrior. We only have two military units, so warriors are going to be of the essence here. Okay, so when I found the city, it's going to reduce happiness, but it's going to give us food uh, with this cattle. And it's also going to give us much more points up here. So let's do it. Oh yeah, see I jumped up to third place. And the unit needs orders. We'll put this guy over here. I have already researched um, uh, uh, um, calendar so I can now make uh, plantations. So let's do that. Hmm, what's this? Construct a citadel plus 100% defense strength for for any unit stationed at this tile. Any enemy unit which ends its turn is without a certain damage. Okay, we can do the citadel. And there we go, we have a citadel. Citadel. So now we have mining, and let's have these workers produce. Oh, bronze working. Bronze working is good. I want this because we get spearmen, and spearmen are a very cheap, but yet very, well, not very powerful, but they're a cheap unit, and I like to mass produce an army of these guys. But for now, we're stuck with warriors and archers for the next four turns, I think. Let's do Stonehenge. That will really boost our points on the point list when we do wonders, and it will increase our culture, I think. Uh, yeah, it gives one great engineer point, 185 production, that's fine, uh, and it gives plus five faith. Now, after we construct that shrine, you can't see that, but it's seven, uh, seven faith, and I'm getting one per turn. So my faith is increasing. I think once you get to a certain point, classical era. Dun dun dun. Da 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 da. So, yeah, there we go. 
Augustus Caesar the Great of Rome. What's the city? Antium. I think that's how you spell it. Antium. Oh, I've re. Oh, s s uh, we can mass produce an army of these guys. Sailing, that's important because we're on an archipelago. Okay, so I've reached 10 faith. Now, 10 faith, I am now able to purchase with either with production or. Uh, well, I'm able to now get a. Um, uh, a, uh, 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 Pantheon. Um, so, I'm gonna do Messenger of the Gods, because I like science. So, I've decided Messenger of the Gods, it does cost faith, so, I spent all my ten faith, but don't worry, we'll keep gaining one, we get plus one for every turn, so don't worry. Yes, I'm sorry, I'm kind of treating this like a tutorial. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Let's see. So City-states, barbarians. Ten happiness, 275 gold, plus two every turn. Oh, it decreased to just plus one, because I think it's just because I made uh, a warrior. So now, Anathium... Antium, I think we're gonna produce a worker, cause I like to have one worker per city in the early stages of the game. Um, you know, simply because you know it's just uh. Oh my goodness, we have a barbarian army coming over. This isn't good. So let's launch our. Let's bring up military units. Um, galley. Uh, this worker, I want you to produce plantation. Oh, optics. This is going to be good. Um, yeah, let's do optics. I think optics is going to get us into the classical era. Oh, they're going to take damage. Not to fear, the commercial pilot is here. Can I? Oh, it's just one time. Oh, now he's out of moves. Crap. Crap it, crap it, crap it. Okay, let's have these guys retreat. Because they're not going to be any help against the archers. This, I want this guy to attack this. Oh my god, well, Oh, so we have a golden age. A golden age definitely does produce more gold, <laughs> uh, as the name implies. I don't want to do that. Ruins discovered. I'm not player as I've entered the classical era. Okay, we don't want these guys to keep killing off our, our men. So let's fire in the hole. Fire in the hole! Oh, that took out 45, so that's good. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if there's much else to do. We want to um, start exchanging arrows, as it were, with these barbarians here. Now, we are always at war with barbarians. Oh yeah, we got negative uh, 39. Took away 39 health. So it looks like in three turns we're gonna do a uh, we're gonna do optics, which is very helpful when it comes to playing on an archipelago. Oh yeah, let's heal instantly because I really need this health here. Let's take out this archer unit. Demand citrus. Sorry. Just range attack. Can the galleys attack? I think they can. Which is gonna suck. Okay, let's fire in the hole at that guy. Not bad. Took almost uh, almost half of their health away. 